안녕하세요. I'm s o n u Welcome to my channel. The World Cup, which many people have waited for, was held in Qatar. South Korean national football team had its first match against Uruguay several weeks ago. The game was fantastic despite nil-nil. Not only the results of the match, but the fact that all South Korean defenders' last name were Kim surprised many football fans worldwide. So today, I talk about the secret of Korean last name. Let's get started. This is a famous Instagram channel about football called 433. After the match of South Korea against Uruguay in the Qatar World Cup, many people were surprised by all South Korean defenders' names were Kim. Someone said Kim passed the ball to Kim and Kim and Kim and another Kim and play of the match was Kim. Here is a more interesting story in my life. It's all the South Korean players who participate in the Qatar World Cup have at least one teammate with the same last name except for only four members. Six players are Kim, Jo, and Hwang are three of each, and Kwon, Lee, Son, Song, and Jung are two of each. Can you believe it? How was this possible? South Korea conducted a census in 2015. According to the survey, the most common surname in Korea is Kim, and Lee, my name, ranked second, and followed by Park, Choi, Jung, etc. Over 10 million people have the last name Kim. It's about 21% of South Korea's population. In other words, about one of five Koreans is Kim. So it makes sense six members are Kim among the 26 South Korean national football players. It's about 23% and about 1 over 5. Even though they are all Kim, but not all the same, Korean surname is usually inherited according to their clans, from a father to his children. As of 2000 South Korean census, there are more than 300 Kim clans in Korea. The major Kim clan in Korea are Kim Kim clan, Gyeongju Kim clan, Gwangsan Kim clan, and Andong Kim clan, etc. The words like Kim Hae, Gyeongju, Gwangsan, Andong are the names of a region in Korea where it's clan the founder came from, and it's called Bongwan in Korean. So in other words, there are more than 300 Kim's Bongwan in Korea. And I googled those Kim's Bongwan, the South Korean football players in the Qatar World Cup. Goalkeeper Kim Seung-gyu, centre-back Kim Min-jae are Uson Kim clan. Left-back Kim Jin-su, right-back Kim Moon-hwan are Gwangsan Kim clan. Centre-back Kim Young-gwan is Kim Kim clan. As you can see, they belong to different clans, so even though they have the same last name, but not all the same, this is a common feature of all Korean surname. So when Korean meet someone with the same last name, sometimes they ask each other which Bongwan they are to identify whether from the same clan. Bongwan이 어디입니까? Bongwan이요. 그 변호인 성시말입니다. 아, 단양 무시입니다. 어디 최시입니까? 경주 최강입니다. 어디 김씨야? 김해 김씨. 아 김해 김씨? It's a little different from the main, but there's one more funny thing I want to tell you. Up until 2005, it was illegal for couples with the same family name and the same bongwan to get married. It was illegal, literally. For example, there's a man who has a family name Kim, and his bongwan is Kim Hae. So he is Kim Hae Kim clan. If his partner's family name and bongwan are the same as his, they couldn't get married before 2005. The law was introduced in the Joseon dynasty, by claiming to prevent possible marriage between relatives but was repealed because there was no scientific basis. Today, I introduce the features of Korean family land through the South Korean football players' names who participate in the Qatar World Cup. The same Korean surnames are classified according to their clans called Bongwan in Korean. So even though many Koreans have the same last name, but it doesn't all the same. Please let me know by commenting below if you have questions about today's topic or other Korean culture. I will make more fun and informative videos with you your comment. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next videos. Annyeong!